I haven't felt this bad in a long time. <sighs> you know what's bad when you look up self-doubt affirmations and you can't even read them because they literally seem so far-fetched. Like I don't I don't believe anything I've I've read. Waking myself, go on a walk to touch some grass and buy some smoothie makings. I don't know how I backslid so fucking quick, but just like, it feels like everything conspired to push me into my flop era. Inside of me are four health conditions. Depression looks like filming 23 clips, trying to express myself and just, I can't even put together a coherent sentence, like what the fuck. I just think that everyone thinks the worst of me right now and that's what being depressed is. It's like, whatever direction I go in is bad. It would be a lot easier to feel this way if I weren't so judgmental towards myself for this, making it seem like it's a personal failure. As if like, good mental health is another fucking rung that I can achieve. Like, I, as you know, like, have just been trying to escape achievementism, you know, like, trying to escape what's been baked into me for so long. But unlearning that is hard. It'd be one thing to feel this depression and just sit in this and just be like, wow, I'm really not feeling well. And it's another to be like, and that makes you a worse person because no, like other people could stay out of this. Other people would be able to not backslide. So once again, it's all about my place in the competition of who can be the best human. It's, it's, it's like, those are like my intrusive thoughts, you know, like that, like, I don't know if I can technically call those intrusive thoughts, but like that is lurking in the shadows. And when I'm weakest like this, and I just don't have like the same amount of confidence and belief in myself and my values, like it's really easy to just like, like give in and just like let those take over and just let, let my life be ruled by like how much I'm able to keep up with it. But it's like, I set the terms of my life. Like I don't need to have a life like this. Okay, I just canceled the meeting I'm supposed to be in right now, which is giving me some relief that like, now I have time to feed myself because I've only eaten like a pastry today. I tried meditating, I tried annotating, I tried hypnotizing, I tried vaporizing, I tried meditating. I tried annotating, I tried hypnotizing, I tried vaporizing, I tried meditating, I tried annotating, I tried hypnotizing, I tried vaporizing. I'm feeling a lot less emotional now. I think I just really needed to get that out. Like, I think I really just needed to be real with myself about how I was feeling. Like once you make it known, that's when you can start addressing it and healing. I think I am a lot of times like scared to admit that I'm depressed uh, because it does feel like that is in my past now. And even though I'm like, I know I'm still depressed because I'm on antidepressants, so I'm like, it's not that it like happened one time and it's done forever. Um, but I guess it just, I was just hoping that the changes I've made in my life would prevent my brain chemistry from migrating. Um, but it has, and I need to acknowledge that. I just feel so much urgency right now. And I hate feeling that because 
I'm done. Like I want to be done with that period of my life where I was into hyper productivity and maximizing my days and multitasking and fitting in every single possible thing and just being so effortful about everything. Like I, I don't want that to be my lifestyle anymore and invite any of that in, but it feels as though it kind of crept back in and now I need to gently like push it back out again and just set boundaries with people. So I'm gonna read and try to stay off of TikTok. The way that TikTok gets you once you're a creator on the app, because like when I was just casually using TikTok as a viewer, there would be periods of time where I would go days without checking it. Like just didn't click on the app, didn't check my DMs because I don't get notifications on my lock screen or in, I just turn off all my, I turn off all my notifications except for my texts. But once you're a creator, if you delete the app, all your drafts are lost. And I'm like, that's how they get you because drafts are how you store, like, like there's no way to put those in the cloud. And I'm like, damn. So I'm like, honestly making peace of the fact that like maybe I should just lose my drafts and it's worth just deleting the app to have it like off my phone for a minute. Um, because I miss the way that I used to use TikTok when it was more like, I would go through ebbs and flows of how much I used it, um, depending on my state. So there's that. Love y'all. Hello, it is me, one day post depression spiral. And uh, I'm doing a lot better. I'm in a better spot. I don't think I'm keyword but I'm feeling better. Does it make it so? Does it make it so? Make it like a song erase the wondering and woe, wondering and woe. Where are you now? Where are you now? Where are you now? I literally feel like most beautiful girl in the world. I got the Monica Church special. She gave me the rec and I am like stunned. So if you need hair styling, Miyoko stylist, she books out hella far in advance, but the work she does is nothing short of art. Like this is magical. I cannot wait to see how it looks on my natural curls. She was so thoughtful. And the timing of this worked out so well. Like. I really needed this. I don't believe that changing the outside will change the inside, but it doesn't hurt. It's just a really nice experience when someone evidently cares so much about what they do and have this clear passion for it and you get to participate in that. And um, she was just so thoughtful and attentive and careful. I just wanna feel I just want to feel normal.